Hello, my name is Carl Sagrasia. I'm going to be importing a NetBeans project into JDeveloper. I'm also going to consolidate them so that I can have it in one folder and use them both. Uh, so this is the NetBeans project I will be using. I'm going to create a new folder. Call it JDeveloper. And that's it. I'm going to go to JDeveloper now. Over here, where it has your applications, or if you don't have any, um, you can just click on that and go to New Application. And this is how I like to do it. Um, I like to create the application first and then import the Java source. Um, when I import with the uh, existing source into new project for some reason it doesn't work uh, when I do it this way it imports resources I think maybe that's why and it has a build file and it seems to work just fine so I use this application for UML application choose the one that suits you uh, I use this for mainly for UML and the uh, I have the GUI features and stuff like that I like to use the NetBeans example for example so uh, now this let's see I gotta find you gotta go find your directory uh, so I made that J developer folder inside the folder um, so this is the folder where I have the J developer for this application and uh, that's where I want. So if you double click that, then it comes here. And you get this. So what I want to do is actually, because I'm going to consolidate the project folders, it's going to be the same name. The application doesn't matter. This is the application. Uh, you can call this whatever you like. But that's the name of this project. So that's what I make sense to me to use it this way. Um, so that's the application folder. Uh, but for the project folder, obviously it has to be the same as the NetBeans project because they're both going to be in the same folder. So um, this one may matter. And I'm going to go ahead and finish. So basically it creates a application folder directory and a inside that a project folder directory. So And that's it. It's created. It has nothing. So what I like to do is go to import and import Java source. So import. Uh, I'm sorry if I did that fast. Uh, up here in file, you can go down here, import. And yeah, I have this selected. So um, like I was saying, you can choose source into new project. It will create a new project, import source. Uh, it doesn't seem to work when I do it. Like I said, when I do it this way, I go to Java source, import the source this way, it also imports resources and it builds just fine. So find the project, the NetBeans project that's being imported. I always double click that, uh, thinking that it's going to open, but it ends up, instead of dropping this down, I guess you got to hit this X's, it's just a, a yeah, sorry about that. So the source now, if you double click, yeah, it it will bring me here. So I found the source for the project, the NetBeans project, and that's going to be imported. So, like I said, it's going to import some resources as well. So, <coughs> and as you can see, here's the resources already. Uh, it takes a little while, and everything's there now. So. Basically, I'm gonna run it, see, and it will ask me for the run file. And there it is, it runs great. Uh, so, there you go, that's how you will import a project into J Developer, and it runs. Um, so, 
Hopefully I didn't miss a step. I think I can change that anyways. Anyways, I have some things to do here. I'm not finished, so I'm going to go to Project Properties because I have to import a jar file. And that will be Libraries and Class Paths. You can choose your JDK. I'm using JDK 8 as of October 2015. They uh, implemented that, so that's great. I need to add a jar for MySQL. I have a lib folder, um, but that could be an issue. Um, doing that right now can be an issue for me uh, because the way I want to do it. But yeah, you can go get your lib folder, uh, lib uh, directory, or whatever jars you want to add. Um, I thought there was one more thing I wanted to do. I I can't think of it right now, but okay so it runs now like I said I, wa I want to add that directory to I want to add both uh, projects in one directory so here it is now I have this NetBeans project over here and I have this J developer project so I want to take this uh, NetBeans project I'm gonna control A control C and you can see that lib folder um, which is I, I want to move it over to JDeveloper first so that's why I'm, I'm gonna do this step and I'm gonna go over to JDeveloper find this is my JDeveloper application folder go inside the project folder and here's the project folder um, okay that doesn't look right <laughs> I don't think there should be a NetBeans project there, but I'm going to go ahead and um, control uh, V and I'll paste everything in right in there. <clears throat> and I'll just overwrite everything and just show you this will work. Uh, this is how I've done it for two applications so far. The J developer seems to store data. Uh, I did start this and I had a problem because uh, I was trying something different completely different uh, so the data seems to be stored I don't know if for some reason that's why that's here that I'm pretty sure that shouldn't be there and if you're doing it for the first time I you'll want to do it this way if you're following along still and you want to copy that NetBeans over so now that I have that lib folder there with my um, Okay, there's quite a few uh, dependencies for this one. I haven't uh, used this project uh, application in a while, so um, okay. So I'll have to include include those. Go back to uh, J Developer, and I'm going to include all those uh, jar files for this application. So basically, you can just uh, what I do is right click uh, Windows and uh, go to the uh, projects properties and we have the uh, class path so we can add the jars and go to the uh, lib folder make sure it's the right one so uh, I got jdeveloper that's this is the one we want to use that lib okay so I wonder if I can just select all of these in one go and uh, it does look that way so yeah great and that's that should be it. I'm gonna give this another run. And save everything. Uh, give it a run. Make sure it works. And there it is. Uh, log in. Make sure those dependencies uh, took. So. Um, looks good yep I can see the connections down there so um, yeah that's that and uh, I'll show the uh, NetBeans so here's NetBeans I'm gonna go and open that project um, and it should be in my projects folder uh, and um, okay and alright so these are the, the uh, two this was the net, two NetBeans applications this is the uh, uh, I just want to click it okay this is the 
the one that was imported into the J developer. This is an older version, just uh, there for reference, and uh, for my reference. And we go here, and you can see the project is here. So we're going to open that up. Basically, there should have been a uh, straight copy and paste right into that uh, project folder of the J developer and open project. So that's why I was saying to you, if you're doing this, you this step, you want to have the names to match. So I'm going to open that up. And uh, okay, it's right there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can run that. And yeah, it runs. And uh, obviously, I should be able to log in, but I'll go ahead. And uh, actually, uh, I just remembered there's a one more thing I want to do. I think that's correct. Yeah, looks like I'm logging in there at the bottom. And okay, great. So it works on both applications. One more thing I want to show it is um, the directory. So I want to create. Go ahead and create a UML. And for, this is how I do it. And so go to new. And I want to create a class diagram UML. And uh, I'm just going to put a test here for a demonstration and uh, the package UML that's I call it UML because that's mainly what I use it for that's like the only uh, thing I use it for right now and just so that it uh, is not blank can show that there add a class there okay uh, so yep that's the class diagram and it goes into this UML directory package which is completely different from the source and I'll show you how that, that directory is it works out when you have the two of them together uh, I personally like it so back to the directory so we're going to Java developer and into our application directory and this is the project directory and in here um, the differences will be classes. This is J Developer creates this directory f and stores when it when it compiles it stores uh, dot class um, files. So here's basically the same exact thing. Uh, you can see that's the main run application dot class and uh, these uh, dot classes for the database here. So I'll go back to the project directory and another thing it does is the model um, and obviously this is um, here and that should be the only differences really and everything runs pretty much the same the model folder that it makes you can see the UML package goes in this separate model folder and uh, all the diagrams will be here and uh, nice, nice and neat and organized I like it uh, I can work on this project uh, if I do a uh, UML here and change the code here. It changes the, you know, the code. I can work on it in both NetBeans, whatever I need to do. If I'm doing UML, if I'm doing graphical user interface, um, I could be on either one. It's great. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if anybody else is having trouble, uh, thank you.